Hello, I'm Anna, I'm a digital fantasy artist, and today I'm going to be painting a realistic hand study with you guys. So I'm going to leave the reference below. It's kind of a master study because the reference is actually a painted hand. I didn't want to take a picture because I really wanted to work with colors and sometimes I feel like in f real life photos they don't really capture the colors, especially the vein colors correctly. So my reference picture is a painting, it's down in the description below if you want to follow this video. I really recommend it because it's really nice to paint with someone else so you can slow down the video and follow alone. First, as you can see, I did not start with lines. If you aren't comfortable and you want to start with lines, it's no problem. I just really aim, I was aiming to make this study faster, so I already started blocking out the colors and I did separate it in layers. Most of a beginner artists, they make everything in one layer, and uh, even though I think it's good, I think that if you are going for a really detailed piece and you want to really push out the study, you should start separating the layers as you would do in any illustration. So I separated the, the layers in background, the hand below and the hand on top. And there was the fingers that were intertwined with each other, so I put them in the layer on top. And then I was just really looking at the colors. It's really important for you to not color pick. If you are a beginner and you want to confirm the color, you can. So basically you look at the reference picture, try out to see if you get the color right and you color pick the reference picture only to see if the color was right. But I do not recommend color picking. I haven't color picked in my whole life i was always against it so i think it really helped me choose the right colors and not depend on layer modes again for this study i did not use any layer modes i haven't i didn't use color dodge multiply overlay i didn't use anything it was literally only me my eye and the brush Something else that I noticed it, if you want to pop the reference picture, it's in the description, but you can see in the reference picture that there are so many textures and I'm not really used to painting with textures. I actually think my art looks kind of plastic. So I was really trying to push out the textures. So I changed my brush to this really textured brush. It kind of looks like a little rock with two rocks around it it's actually funny but it's it has a it's more texture charge than my the brushes that i normally use and i think it was really important for me to pay attention to how the canvas texture was on the reference picture because sometimes if your art looks really plasticky or really digital arty it's because you're just using one brush and maybe it's the round brush and it has no texture and even though i think the round brush is good if you're beginning or if you want to lay down a base it's not as good if you're trying to bring really hard texture, especially canvas texture to your painting. So pay attention to the textures in your reference and try to replicate them. A question that I get a lot is when should you add the textures? And I was actually confused with this myself. And I feel like the best thing is to lay down a base as you saw that I did in the speed paint. And afterwards you can add the texture. I was feeling really free with this study, so I didn't really care about layers. As you can see, I merged already every layer. I just used it to select the right colors in the beginning, and then I merged everything back. And now I'm just splashing the textures all over, so I feel like the answer would basically be when is the right time to use textures after you've laid down a good base with the right colors or the colors that you want to use. Right now, I'm just really looking at my reference and trying to get the right colors. It's a mix of trying to get the right proportions and the right colors. And one thing that I really got wrong was the proportions of the fingers. When I looked at my reference and I zoomed in more, I saw that the fingers were thicker than I painted. And you will see in the end of the video that the, the fingers are indeed thicker and I just painted them really skinny. And it kind of messed up this 
part of making the fingers that are intertwined because if you get the proportion of one finger wrong you basically got the whole study wrong so a tip that i would give you is to sketch it out even though i started with forms to save time i would have so such an easier time if i had sketched out and really planned the proportions and distances of the fingers so i wouldn't have such a hard time trying to measure it while at the same time trying to get the perfect color another thing that i noticed was the colors of the nails it's actually a deep saturated almost black color and i got it wrong several times actually so the t the really the trick for studies is to always be looking at your reference like it of course you can make some different structures and choices because you can add your own creative side to it but try to always look at your reference and try to get the right proportions and the right colors don't take your eye out of it even for one second and it's okay if you get the wrong color don't be afraid to change things as well again this reference took me this painting took me so much longer than i ex expected and i just honestly went with it because i've been having really so many difficulties with rendering hands i can do the basic structure of a, a hand and paint it but really rendering it is not is not something i know how to do properly so this reference really really helped me but the biggest tip that i can give you apart aside from sketching it out beforehand would be to just really look at the details and try to replicate it as good as you can like don't rush it i expected to ha uh, do this in one hour and i ended up taking three hours so honestly just go with the flow and try to have fun and try to get the right colors as much as possible another question that i get a lot is how often i study and honestly i haven't been studying as i said for the past three months i've been really focusing on painting illustrations for fan arts and starting to make my commissions so i'm just really making a lot of examples for my commissions so i haven't really studied but for me the ideal and something that i'm going to start this week already is to study for two hours I did spend the three hours in this painting, but I'm going to pretend it's two hours. So two hours a week, just take a subject that you think you need to good, get better at. This can be like hair, it can be skin, clothing, backgrounds, archi architecture, perspective, anything you feel like you're bad at it, F feet, I don't know. And then take two hours of your day to study it. It's Honestly, it's not that hard, but it's hard because we all have busy lives and sometimes we have commissions that we need to paint that week. So we can't just drop everything down and study for like five days, but try to make at least two hours a week of studying and every day sketch something like it can be physical. I feel like a lot of digital artists don't even sketch on, on their sketchbooks anymore i really like sketching traditionally that's why i post so many shorts with me sketching traditionally and i will definitely post more but my passion is digital art so if your passion is digital art sketch something digitally as well as long as you sketch something it already is some sort of studying and remember to sketch from imagination and from observation. For study purposes, it's better if you sketch from ob observation. So you can maybe get like a subject that you like and just sketch it out, like no pressure. If it, if it looks bad and you don't want to post it, you don't need to. But the important thing is to sketch at least five minutes every day and study two hours per week. That's honestly my goal. Right now in the painting processes, I'm finally zooming in and I had such a hard time with this thumb, like I just couldn't get it right and the colors, it just looked off. And honestly, I feel like it looks too long to be a thumb, but it's fine, you know, we love all different thumbs out there. But yeah, honestly, just take your time. And the most important thing for me is getting the right colors. I feel like if you get the proportions wrong, but you get the right colors, People are going to understand that this is a hand. 
so we are already heading towards the end of the video as you can see i really tried to push the textures in this final stretch of the painting but overall i really enjoyed it it was around three hours i think i was aiming for less than three hours but i couldn't really do it and i think three hours is is enough but i felt like i could spend like days and days in this one reference but I'm pretty proud of it. I think I had a lot of fun and I hope you guys learned a lot with this. If you have any questions or any doubts, feel free to pop them on the comments. And if you like this video, please remember to leave a like and subscribe. I just started YouTube, so if you have any video suggestions, send, please send them below. So this was the reference. I know it doesn't look exactly, but... This is the final piece. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and see you in the next one.